Yes. Yes, good man. Yes, good man. All right. Go do dog stuff, buddy. That was terrific. Good job, Omar. And every puff. Yes, good man. Look at you. Yes, yes, good man. Go do dog stuff, Omar. That was great. That's been the, um, what is it, strategy? You just wear them. Is that just wear them and then These are the them. real expensive ones, right? Yeah. Yeah, Get they're getting ready to re-release another pair that looks just like it, except it has red brick, and they're not going to be limited. Yeah, but still, these will be way more limited. I mean, the they are they are technically way more limited, but the hype will die for sure, I think, on the, I don't know, the resale. Just depends. I have a theory that the red's going to be a different shade of red, but they could That's be awesome. out But dude, the bricks are a huge difference. White versus red bricks? I get it, but Is that like... worth fucking $1,700 to you? I mean, no, and not. people have been complaining I haven't unboxed anything on the vlog. Well, it's just some people. I select few, so maybe I'll just unbox. I'll unbox these today. What are those? <laughs> Shelves that I haven't built yet. Uh, but the real reason there hasn't been many unboxing is because there's no good shoes out. Come on. But I did forget yesterday, there's the triple black, uh, or the Japan pack, white and black NMD that's coming. So that's soon. Oh, he's out here. I'm thinking he's in here waiting on this door. He's just like... Okay. What's he like? <laughs> I body slam me again. They see me do it. One flip. What are you gonna do today? We're going to the Arby's in? Is that what you said you wanted? We could. We I don't even think we could bring the camera in there. I don't know. We can go go up in the mountains. <laughs> We're not going to the mountains. You're crazy. Okay. We go to the mall <coughs> and see that there's no shoes to buy. That could be not really fun. I really don't want to do that. Ball vlog, you know how everybody does when they don't have shit to do. Like, hey, let's go to the wall. Let's pick up shoes that we can't buy. Yeah, that doesn't seem like a good thing to do with my day. No, I'm not the something. Yes, good. Yes. Yes. Shout out to Blake Kerbin for the Doobie Memorial donation. This came in this morning. Shout out to you, shout out to Doobie, shout out to everybody. Uh, let me give him more water. When did you bring to the vet? Tuesday? Yeah. Because I gotta get Rusty over here. Rusty and him will be best buds. They'll frolic the fucking mountains together. Uh -huh. Yeah. It's hard, man. Not as hard as it is. This is true. What Schmuck was like. Yeah, I just sold this photograph, man. It's, uh, it's just the jerseys. It's kind of tilted in a little bit of time. You know, you have to make lights. And I'm just like, jersey. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. I feel like a nine year old right now. I fucking love those things, too. <laughs> what? Yeah, dog. You know, I have a parking space. Where? The garage. It should just be given to me. Just give me the sticker until you get another car. Yeah. I mean, what's the difference? Who else is over here every day? That would make life so much easier. Yeah, I forgot. What is now? I literally like circle around here. I spent like 10 minutes this morning. I pay $75 a month for it too. That's amazing. Remind me when we get back. Where is it? Where's what? It's in the building. The garage? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you actually go into the garage? Yeah. Look at the cranes. It's art, bro. Exhibit would be everyone vlogging too. We gotta call an art. We, we gotta, gotta go to Art Basel next year in Switzerland. We gotta do this installation. Vloggers in the throne room. Our art piece is the vloggers vlogging in the museum. Yep. No one's looking at the art. Let's go buy some artifacts. Well, from where? What neighbors? Right near your apartment building. There's yeah. an artifact place? Oh, from the, you have to have an appointment. Oh. And it's all stolen. That's what I'm looking for. <laughs> I'm looking for some stolen goods. You heard it here first. But they have to be artifacts. But they need to be an artifact. Someone left a comment saying that, like, poor you having to chauffeur me around. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Because I refuse to get a car. 
My poor Ernie. No, this is great. <laughs> I feel like R. Kelly right now. You're like the girl in the R. Kelly video. That's... I'm trapped. Yeah. <laughs> I did move. <laughs> yeah. It's true. So we can roll around and get blazed together. Yeah. That's what we're doing. Yeah. Jake Paulers. Do you know about Jake Paul? No. He's like the biggest YouTuber right now. It's ridiculous. But he released a rap video called It's Every Day, Bro. What is every YouTuber releasing <laughs> yeah. fucking rap videos? Yeah, that's like the new thing. What I said about Kais's videos, like I feel like he's just, it's part of YouTube culture that like a lot of people in the sneaker world don't quite understand. Like Kais kind of like straddles the line of a big YouTube culture because he has friends that are really big on YouTube. Uh, Jake Paul is, has edits every day, bro. It's a, you haven't seen it? No. I mean, you're not gonna be able to watch it. Yeah, while let's wait till the shop. I get it. Anybody not... can rap. It's not hard. <laughs> let's but, hear it. Best one. Yo, I mean, yo, but, yo, but to rap no. good, at, rap I don't well. know. It's... We're going to Fogo tonight. Yeah, we are. Fogo to Chow, motherfuck. I'm already hungry. I am too. I'm trying to eat like just light lunch. Nah, we're eating again with this shit. You guys and you and Josh. Yeah, let's eat something light so we can eat like pigs later. <laughs> I got into bodybuilding and got super fucking hella skinny. Then I was like fucking addicted to bodybuilding and stopped because it was just crazy. Like I was crazy. Like so crazy about it. I'm, like crazy to the point where my girlfriend got hit by a car and I didn't go see her in the hospital. Instead I went and did cardio. Yeah, she was stoked. Um, but that was just like two nuts. So I just... Um, That's I, when I decided <laughs> you had enough. That wasn't even when I decided I had enough. I was like... <laughs> Fuck. Oh, but yeah. you don't like flavored vapes? No, I like to smell it. There's nothing I love more. If I'm walking behind someone and they vape and they blow yeah. some big cloud, I walk through and it's... it's Oh. Yeah, that's no, all dash cam. <laughs> Walk through, it smells like fruit, fucking Fruit Loops or Fruity Pebbles. I love yeah. it, dude. I'm like, ah, oh, that's delicious. <laughs> I don't want to be that guy with the cloud, but I'll walk through one. <laughs> you don't want to be the guy with the cloud, but you'll walk through one. Kept leaning in and talking to me, and he had his mod or whatever. Yeah. So, I don't know, whatever modded. you do to it. So, his mod's so modded. He's so fully modded. He hit it, and he would breathe down. It would fill the floor and come <laughs> Shut back up. up. I swear to God. I think you were smoking minute. with Chris Angel. No. Mm -hmm. New massage. Chinese massage was the old name. It was yeah. on the right side of the building. <laughs> but after they got popped, that kind of massage parlor, you don't think that's a shady one right there? I don't know, man. I, I do. You. It's run down. Yeah, that's it. It's run down. It's got the fucking handwritten signs. It changes names every fucking... Mm. They're out here Sounds popping. like you need to invest. We should do that today. Like yeah. You can go undercover and see. To the hand job place. <laughs> Spicy basil. I ate there the other night. Yeah? Is that a massage parlor? No. <laughs> Amazing spa massage. I would also think that that one is shady. How many of these places do you do? Dude, if. There's one for every dispensary. There's cars down there that are cheap as shit. I should go buy a car. Let's go buy a car today. I'll just take your parking spot away real quick. <laughs> just for fun. I'll buy a car and show people how little I actually drive it, even if I own one. But wait, did you see a little smiley face graffiti? I did. That shit is everywhere. Like in the world? No, just in this fucking uh, Englewood, Colorado, Denver. It's amazing. It's like, that's your tag. It's art, man. I'm starting to critique and art. Art is to be understood, bro. Maybe he likes the smiley face. You're talking about it. I am. He's All the good it. stuff that you pass by, you're not talking about. He's doing. Look at that big mural. He ain't say shit about it. Because I've <laughs> seen it nine <laughs> times. Yeah, that's right. Branding. It's like McDonald's. Yeah. <laughs> One day it's gonna come in handy. You're gonna like be somewhere. You're like, <gasps> I know. That. I know where I'm at. <laughs> I'm gonna have amnesia. And it's gonna see, come that's my back face, and I'm near Angel Massage. <laughs> <laughs> Another one. No, but there's nothing shady about that. It says men. I think you should go undercover. I'll give you a GoPro. No, I, no. We gotta start. We gotta start approaching the real facts. You know what I mean? What's really going on out in these streets? Yeah. I used to come over here and get massages. Oh. I think. I don't know. This isn't the same. So this massage place is like one of those monthly. Yeah. Like places. Those are legit. Legitimate places. <laughs> there are legitimate massage parlors. It's true. <laughs> Not on that Broadway space over there, though. I don't believe it. You don't think those are legit? I don't think one of those is. I love this vault. This, you're going to go undercover. <laughs> you can't use that. <laughs> I'll, make an ex I'll make an executive decision during the edit. Ten. 
Which girl is Dan? The Matt. It's from Matt. It's from. Oh. The is that all that cane? Yeah, that's got him and Rick's ink. Pour them all out down the drain. Yeah. That'd be tired. Uh, here we go. Whoa. This stuff is so far now. You want some tape? They're really good. I've had them. The chow tea. I get them at the airport. I love them. Well, discussion. This is a good frame for lights. That's about it. That's about it, really. Summertime. Yeah, free summertime. Shirts, free shirt uniform. Free shirts. Got spills on it. Already got spills. <laughs> it's just water. It should dry. I'm dinner last night, but I repeat that. Literally one single coconut shrimp at 3 a.m. I'm like, thanks, dude. Going blind design. <laughs> from my favorite book actually, Looking for Alaska. The whole thing is like, how do we get out of this labyrinth? And what is the labyrinth? Is it living or dying? Pink. Oh, Good. Here we go. Yeah. Fuck, what are we doing? I don't know. Getting sushi. Salad. Yeah, we're definitely not getting sushi. This is a fucking date. We could be lost, I'll record this. Cause I don't remember, we tried so many spots. Yeah, because you pulled up here and then you flipped around. You're right behind that blue car up there. That black car. Oh, you're right. He's just doing his job, man. Don't you quit hating. Because you don't want a parking ticket. This is America. We're trying to make it great. Not again, just great for the first time. Let's just make it good. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we, we can shoot for good. <laughs> You know, C plus is all I'm asking for, son. Yeah. Make America passing great again. Yeah. <laughs> Salmaducci. Sarkeesians. Sark. You know, that's the place that supposedly sells stolen artifacts. You know what it is. We should have never told you. It just uh, had I have a daily vlog. It's like what I do for a living. Oh, uh, so nice. Every day. Yeah. Oh, we forgot to watch that video with you. Going down. Hey, uh, I got a question for you. Okay. If it's raw hot and all, you can have it. I don't know, but I, I, I might come by your door. Okay. I'll check it out. Awesome. Wow. He's huge. Yeah. He fucking. Omar like snuck his head into it, and they were, she was moving something out, and he like poked his head inside, and he was like, Oof! and fucking Omar just like took off like all the way down the fucking hallway. <laughs> Started from the bottom, now we here. If they saw the shit, if they saw her, I was sleeping fucking six. And the shady lady. And I was sleeping on the on the uh, tattoo bed, driving you around. Yeah, we did used to do that. This is the biggest YouTuber on the platform currently. And it's his rap video. And this is his video, yes. Better be good. No way. I hate how that fucking like lags out. Yup. Yeah. Y'all yeah, can't handle this. It's good for us. Y'all don't know what's going to happen, baby. Keep saying. Disney Channel Flow. Bob Mill on YouTube. It's it. All the recordings too. No. Hey, bro. It's every day, bro. It's every day. Switch the language? Sorry. We better hit it. Oh my god, this literally bothers me. It's a no. I've never even made it this far. Yo, it's a pro. No. Competition show. Wow. I'm gonna check the the views. I wanna get here. Oh my god. <laughs> April, May, June, July, it's like two months old. Yeah. Yeah. His brother made a video. Little brother Jakey trying to roast me? What? Little brother standing on his own two feet? That's a long So. <laughs> it makes me uncomfortable. <laughs> like, is it a joke? Like, what's. Look, look at the dog and. <laughs> oh shit, is this a blazing hottie cameo? Oh, what? So sorry, Logan, and sorry, Logan again. And upset me. They really did. And I don't. <laughs> You're invested. All right, we gotta go. Let's go. Watch it at home. I don't. I'll never watch it again. But Ford, Logan or Jake? Pick a side. Logan or Jake? Logan or Jake? Logan. Neither. Dude. 
who we beefing with. So, it's been a little slow in the shoe department lately. Been catching a little bit of shit for not unboxing anything, but at the same time, I'm not just gonna unbox things to unbox things. There really haven't been any shoe releases that have really been worth getting lately. I mean, there just really hasn't been. There's nothing. The only thing I even like saw that even remotely interested me lately that I passed on because I don't wear those shoes are the new crazy explosives with the prominent upper and the Las Vegas edition. I think it's probably one of the coolest looking shoes in a while, but I didn't get them because I don't wear basketball shoes usually. Uh, but soon enough, that'll change. There's a lot of releases coming, at least some releases coming, and I'll let you know what I'm going to pass on, what I'm not going to pass on. But first, uh, I wanted to talk to you guys about this new private label bag. This is the private label backpack the homie sent me from private label. Uh, just to give you a comparison, travel bag, shoe bag, this is the backpack. Size difference. Um, all right, so backpack is a little different. The outer material is like ripstop material, a little more like canvasy. The sh I'll call that one the shoe bag, even though they both hold shoes, but the bigger bag has more of a slick outer, slick outer. All black, nothing peppered in. So this bag is cool because it opens from three sides. Each side has a little opening so you can access it and then obviously it's got two dividers in there that hold three shoes up to a size 14 and then you have all these little nice little pockets that are accompanied with zippers on the inside of this panel you have an outer pocket on the outside so you can slide things in i don't know what you want to slide in there but whatever you like to this side is the same way and it's got this weather resistant zipper cover i don't even that's definitely not the technical term for it but that's what i'm gonna call it and then the same thing more panels, more zipper pockets, private label branding, the remove before flight tag. And then the third way to access yo shit is through the top. And then you have another big panel here. And there's actually a laptop or a tablet folder there and another laptop tablet folder here. These are actually super sick. This is great for shoes, but this is like, honestly, this is just a great travel bag. That's the one thing I've noticed about my private label bag in general. It's just a good travel bag. I can put all my stuff in it and just hop on a plane for two days and come home. Perfect for a two day trip, like absolutely perfect. And then if I was gonna go on a longer trip, I'd probably just pack a bunch of shoes on it. This bag would be perfect for just like a, Honestly, I could probably still fit two days worth of, I could probably fit two days worth of stuff in here, but honestly, most people would probably only get one, especially with all my equipment and stuff. Like I put my camera and a pair of shoes in here, probably wouldn't be able to get very much clothes. But it's a really nice backpack. Again, really well made, nice and sturdy zippers. Everything is really, really well made and really nicely done. It's very thought out and um, really just a convenient bag. Like you can get to your stuff, you can get to your stuff so many ways. So I definitely suggest the private label backpack. You want a little travel case. This is uh, actually pretty perfect. So shout out to Private Label, appreciate it. I think this one runs 100 bucks. Uh, the other ones I think are 180, 200 bucks. I honestly can't remember. They might even be cheaper, but go check them out. So. Um, all right, so shoes. Let's talk about what shoes are coming out. Um, finally, we're gonna get an XR1 that has leather cages. I don't know if I said this on a vlog or if I said this in a conversation on person, but I've been waiting for them to do XR1 with leather cages. I don't understand why they haven't been doing it. I honestly think like the XR1 line has suffered because of it, um, but now finally they are putting leather cages on a black pair that I've seen. I'm going to assume there's a white pair coming. It's August 31st, so I'm looking forward to that shoe. It's hard to say what resale will be on it, but I can pretty much assume that resale will probably still stay under $300 if people are even interested at all. On August 10th, there's a Nemesis Tango Restock, which is the black pair, the triple black pair, the zebra pair, and now there's this new like aqua and black pair that's coming. I don't have the aqua and black yet, so I will cop those, but the other two are restocking. The Tango is kind of a, some people love it, some people don't like it. The upper is completely different. If you're looking to buy, don't expect ultra boost comfort out of the upper. It's, complete, it's just completely different. Still comfortable, still super supportive, but not prime it in any way. Rain and Champ is back with a new collaboration. He's doing a pure boost and an alpha bounce. I think that's August 5th. I'm not really interested in these. The pure boost, this model, not my favorite. Rain and Champ version, still not really my favorite. Um, so I'll be passing on that. Alpha Bounce. I like the way that shoe looks, but I know I would never wear it, so I'll be passing on that. Uh, but both shoes look really nice, really clean, and stick with the Rain and Champ branding. I have no problem with them. Just not going to cop myself. Uh, the Alexander Wang Hike Low. So this shoe, I've been like rattling around in my head. If you haven't seen them, they're crazy. Kind of reminds me of like old 90s rave styles. The whole collection is like basically super ravey mixed with cycling, which is kind of like how raving ravers dressed anyway. But um, it's everything's like super high 
highlighter, super bright or black, so the contrast is crazy. But August 5th, those shoes drop. I really don't know what I'm gonna do. I keep saying I'm gonna pass on them, but the more and more I look at them, the more I'm intrigued just to see what they feel like. So I might get one of the colors. I might even get both. I don't really know. We'll see. I probably need to decide since they drop tomorrow, but um, yeah, we'll see. Uh, there's a new Aniki coming out this summer. There's no release date yet for it, but this is probably my favorite Aniki so far. I'm calling it Goldenrod. I think it looks like it matches the Bruce Lee outfit. Most people probably know what outfit I'm talking about. If not, it's, it's Bruce Lee as fuck. I think that one's actually gonna fly and I'm super looking forward to that one. Four new Pharrell's, the NMD Human Race Trail. Pharrell Boost, whatever you want to call it. Uh, those drop, I think the date they said is November 11th. There should be four new colorways. I don't have all four of them here because I just didn't look for them. There are four separate colorways that will be dropping on the 11th. The big controversy with this pair is their $250 retail. The last pairs were not. We'll probably get all four. They already dropped the Laceless in Europe. Uh, the Laceless Ultra Boost, which is kind of the new Uncaged. There's two colorways so far, white and sort of a charcoal with brown and red. I don't, I don't really know what color you'd call that. Again, like I said, they already dropped in Europe. I have a pair on the way of the charcoal color and then they're going to drop in the United States in September but no actual date yet. Uh, Black Friday November 24th which is a long ways away in the world of sneakers and vlogging but there is a triple black EQT that's coming. I know a lot of people are looking for that. It's probably going to be a pain in the ass to get. Resale will probably be a little bit higher uh, at first but you know you know how resale is these days. Yeah, so that that's definitely gonna be a look forward to shoe and I'm definitely looking forward to it. There's an R1, uh, NMD R1, August 17th, which is the zebra colorway, which is kind of the crazy digital pattern they just did on the EQTs, which on the EQT, I just couldn't stand it when they did the pink and the black and white. On the NMD, I don't mind it. People are calling it kind of a turtle dove NMD. I don't really see that, but for some reason, the contrast and the movement on that upper I honestly like and I definitely will cop it. So I'm into that NMD for sure. I wouldn't expect everybody else to be honestly because people are like, people are waiting for some new crazy boost revolutionary shoe to drop from the sky instead of enjoying the ones that we just got, you know, like a year or two ago. Uh, speaking of NMDs, there's also the triple black NMD and the triple white NMD. It's part of a new Japan pack. This is how the black was supposed to release last year but didn't. Uh, that is drop, that's dropping August 11th. So that's coming up really, really soon. Most definitely am going to cop both of those. I will probably even double up on those. Resell on that, I don't really know yet. I, it's going to be interesting. I don't think resale is going to be very high. I think it's going to like sit around 260 to 300 bucks. I could be wrong. I guess it depends on how much they release, but with the way NMDs have been going, I know a lot of people are going to try to jump on it because it's triple black and it's a little more sought after, but I still don't, I still think there's going to be plenty of pairs and I wouldn't expect it to be nuts, but we'll see. And last, August 30th or 31st, I can't remember the date. It looks like it's not necessarily been confirmed, but I've seen it on a couple of release calendars. The Ultra Boost ATR Mid, they're supposed to release in December, I believe, but that's fine. It looks like it's coming in the khaki colorway. I don't know about the gray colorway. Definitely looking forward to seeing and wearing the shoe, although I do think a lot of people are going to complain about the toe box pattern because it is very much like a 3.0, 4.0 kind of hybrid. So looking forward to that and obviously 4.0, which looks like it's coming out in December finally. Definitely looking forward to 4.0. I think a lot of the reason that I've slowed down buying shoes is one, there's not much to buy. And two, if something does come out, it's just another 3.0 color that really isn't that exciting to me. If I find a color that excites me, I'll still grab it. But the last little blue colorway, I can't remember what that blue was called. That didn't do anything for me. I saw it in person. I honestly thought the color was kind of gross. It looked like that stuff you put in the bottom of fish tanks. Um, yeah, so anyway, but 4.0 is on the way also, hopefully in December. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say we're going to see him around Thanksgiving. But um, yeah, so that's what's coming out. That's what's going on. That's it. It's for the week. Have a good weekend. I'll see you on Monday. Peace out.